Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a great variety of high quality 3D models and it is updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize a 3D model of a skier in action. Let's choose a 3D model that suits us from the vast provisual library. Let's take a closer look. This model is amazing, extremely detailed. Let's create a new project. This is what a blank model looks like. Let's zoom in the model a little and move on to setting up the materials on the helmet. Let's start with the outer shell. Let's change the color of the material. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette, or enter the color code manually, like this. Following the same process, change the colors of other helmet parts. and so we finished customizing the helmet. The next step is to change the color of the material on the balaclava. Moving on to the goggles. Here we will select the lens part and change the material. In the materials tab, select the proper one. For example, this one here. Let's change the color of the material to highlight the chrome effect. Now let's tweak the material itself a bit, for a more expressive finish. Looks great. The next step is to change the colors of the rest of the parts of the goggles. Great! We have completed customizing the helmet, the balaclava, and the goggles. Now, the jacket. We will go to the Materials tab and select a different material. Then, we'll change the color of the material and customize it a little. The next step is to modify the pocket. We will also pick another material that suits us. Let's change the color of this material. Now let's change the material settings for a premium look. Let's zoom in to set up the labels. We will replace the material and change the color. Next, in the material settings, we will create a tiny reflection effect. Now let's move on to the cuffs. and change the color. Let's move our model a little and change the color of aglets. Next, let's configure the laces. Let's choose a different material for them too. Now let's change the color and then adjust the material. For the retainer element, we will only change the color. 
Next, let's move on to the loops. We will change the material and the color. Let's go to the zipper and only change the color of the material it already has. Changing the material of the zipper slide as well. The next step is to go to the stopper element and change the color of the material. We're only left with changing the color of the seams and the jacket will be done. Excellent. The attention to detail is just out of this world. Let's continue setting up our skier model. Let's work with the mittens. Let's change the color of the material on the closure part. Next, copy the material settings and apply them to the cuff element. Let's go to the palm edge element and move the model a bit to adjust the material better. As usual, We'll start by changing the material. Now let's alter the color of the material as well. And we'll customize the material. Giving our model more individuality. Nice! The next step is to modify the shell. We will also pick another material that suits us. Let's change the color of this material and we'll customize the material. Now let's move on to palm. To customize the palm element, we will again turn our model and we'll change the material and its color too. Next, copy the material settings and apply them to the thumb element. We will also copy the palm edge material settings and apply them to the thumb edge. Now let's change the color of the seams and complete setting up the mittens. Our model is almost completely set up. Let's keep going. Moving on to the pants settings. Just like all times before, we will pick another material and change its color. Next, we will customize the material so that it is in the same style as all the previous mock-up parts. Let's turn the 3D model and set up the lining. Here we will only tweak the color. For the braid element, we will only change the color as well. Next, let's move on to the locks. Here we will change both the material and the color. the color of the seams element too. Great. Just a little left and we will finalize our skier model. Let's go ahead to the boots. In the shell tab, change the color of the material. then configure it a little. Next in line is ankle buckle. We will change the material.
Now let's copy the ankle buckle material settings and apply them to the buckle leader, toe buckle, and toe fastener. We will leave the bolt settings as they are. Let's go to the sole element and just change the color. Excellent! The boots of our 3D model are all set up. Let's add some personality to our skis. Let's go to the base element and change the color of the material. That's it. Now to the toe housing. Let's rotate the 3D model to fine-tune the material. Let's change the color in the material settings. Next, copy the material settings and apply them to the heel cup element. Let's do the base edge now and change the material. Next, let's change the color and adjust the material a little. The next step is to change the color of the binding parts, toe cups, and heads elements. Next, let's go to bolts. Here we will change the material and change the color of the material. Let's customize the material a little as well. I'll copy the bolts material settings and apply them to the brakes. Now let's move on to heel lever and change the color of the material. Then, we'll copy the material and apply it to plate. Great! Our skier is almost ready to go down the mountain. We only need to configure the pole's element. Let's do it! We will also change the color of the material of the straps. Now let's move on to the right shaft. Here we will change the color of the material and customize the material a little bit. Now let's copy the material settings and apply them to the left shaft element. Now let's set up the grip element. Let's zoom in the model a little for convenience. and in the material settings we will change the color. Next we'll do the basket. Let's choose a good material and change the color. We will tweak the material a little. Great! Let's copy this material settings and apply it to the ferrule right here. Now let's move on to the last tip element and change the default material and its color. Done. A little over 10 minutes, and we have set up all the materials on our skier. Good job, let's save the project. It's time to apply the design to the model. Let's start with helmet. Let's rotate the model to see it better. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've already prepared some images for our skier in action. Let's add the first design element. Let's enlarge our design to fit better, like this. Next, let's save this design.
Now let's go to Balaclava and add the design to it as well. In the UV map window, you can add designs for the balaclava and goggle elements to speed up your work. Good, let's save the design. Now let's tweak the material of the design we just applied to the balaclava layer. Nice, just what we need. Next, we will add the design to the jacket element. You can change the opacity to make the whitish elements of our design more visible. Let's enlarge our design based on the UV map so that the elements are placed well. Great! Let's switch the opacity to its original setting and save our design. The next step is to customize our design. Let's pick a different material for our design. Let's tweak this material a little and change the color of the design. Amazing, let's continue. Now let's go to the pocket and select the design layer so that it's active. Now we can keep customizing our design. Let's change the material of the applied design and tweak it a bit. looks so natural. Now let's add the design to the pants. Let's drag out the design element to make it a bit larger. I love the result. Let's save the design. Next, let's move on to the boots and also add the design to them. Let's change the size of the design to suit us. Finally, we will add the design to the skiz. Again, making the design larger. And here's how it looks like. Very good. Let's save it. We are almost done with the design of our 3D model. We only need to make some tiny adjustments of the design element on the pants. Let's do that. We will alter the material of the design a little. Like this. Now our skier is all done. As a last move, We'll go to the Environment tab and change the lighting settings for a more impressive result. 
All we have to do now is to choose the right background. Let's see what types of pre-made backgrounds we have here. We can pick a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also set the direction of the fill. Linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent! You can enable moving lights to see how the light interacts with the shape and surface of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in 360. Let's save our project. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Send it over to your colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating a skier in action design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.